other thing that the controller did for us is it added all these routes right here. So it added a route for pages contact, pages about, and pages home. Now this is great, however, I don't really like the way these routes look. I don't want to go to some website.com slash pages slash about to get to the about page. So what we can do is create a custom one. So I'm going to say get about two pages about. Okay, and then I can get rid of this one. And so what this is going to do is it's going to let us go to localhost, which could be our domain, slash about, and it's going to take us to the same page. So first we need to restart the Rails server. So I'll type in Rails S, come back here, and now this is going to break. So this will give us an error message because this is no longer a route. You can see this is a routing error and the error messages now also give you our rake route. So we could see the right way to go uh, if you actually look. So you can see that this about path here is now mapped to slash about. So I can get rid of pages, just have localhost 3000 slash about and there we go. So I'm also going to go and do this exact same thing with the other one. So I'm just gonna hit duplicate and do contact, contact, get rid of our contact one. And then for home, I'm not even gonna worry about home right now because we're gonna do something about that differently later. So uh, also a good idea is to, have a, to know what this represents. So you already know that this means that from the root it's just going to be slash contact slash about. But what we're doing when we say get, this is one of our HTTP verbs that we talked about in one of our last routing videos. And so this is saying for a get request, meaning that we go when we go to this in the browser, we want to map this to the pages controller contact method. So if we go to pages controller, you can see that we have all of these values right here. And the neat thing about this routing is it means that we can actually pass things in to this. So for pages controller, say for the contact page, or now let me do the about page. Say that I want to pass a value in there. So I want to do a different page title. So say my cool page and store this inside of this title variable. Now if I go into our about page and instead of fill in later I'm going to put some embedded Ruby and I'm just going to say title because I'm pretty sure that's what I called it here. Yes. So now I have access to what I put here for title. So now if I do this and I don't think I need to restart the server because I don't think I changed any routes and just hit refresh and there you go you have my cool page and that's because we're passing it in the controller the router takes it maps it through the controllers about method in the pages controller and then prints it out so that's how you can customize these in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can set your home page